This is the Wi-Fi of the Order of Malta. So I just passed by, you know, by accident. Like it says, yeah, the Global Fund of the. Yeah. For, for forgotten people. So here's a uh, commemoration site here in Belgium, in uh, Ghent. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, you know, for the war, it says 1945, you know, to commemorate the war. It was such a great thing, you know, with Isis and Horus. And look at this. Oh, like on the Swiss army knife, a Swiss cross. What is a Swiss cross doing on a commemoration site, eh, in Belgium? because they organized and financed everything. The Swiss are behind it all. And we just die. We die. Don't do their bloody wars. So I'm on this cemetery here. So I'm here at the grave here. You can see here the uh, square and compass. Yeah. You know, Freemasons. Uh, up here is the pentagram, so it means, you know, and there's a light shining down, so they got their light, the Ill uh, Illuminati, they got their light from Satan, you know. This here is the, uh, like probably Isis or the, the war goddess. It's got an owl on her head, or whatever it is. Well, and there's a lot more to see here. It's uh, the, the winged, she's winged, it's probably Ma'at. Um, yeah, so in, it says instruction, you know, the tradition, that what you leave in books. Or like making films on YouTube, you know, for the pharaohs. That's very important, you know, because, you know, life is, um, you die and then there's nothing anymore. But that what you leave for the pharaohs, that was very, very important. So here is music, what you leave, books, you know, philosophy and all that. This is building, what you build, you know. That's why there's a, uh, um, a pillar here. Very important, and you see the Trinity again. So it's all Freemasonry here. Uh, the uh, sepulchre here. On the other side is too the, the winged woman there. It's a very interesting graveyard here. There's probably a lot more to see. I see that this is very pharaonic here with these these tulips here. I saw that on on pharaonic, our oh, very typical pharaonic. So here's the entrance here, and the door. Uh, Yo, it's like in a Freemason lodge here, you know, uh, open up the... Uh, oh, that's Ma'atu here, the wings. Very interesting. Oh, look at the snakes here, what is it? So here is a uh, the Freemason handshake. Shake. And you see in the middle, on the middle finger, they put, they push the, uh, the thumb here. On the, uh, on the middle finger here. That's one of the Freemason signs. The other one is with the... Uh, with the with the index finger on the pulse, you know, with this one, do it on the pulse. So this is a grave, a grave stone here. There are many of them, and there's a lot of handshake, Freemason handshakes here all over. Yeah, look, here's another Freemason sign. Here's the sign with the little finger on the pulse. Here, this is the other one. Those are both here, and here's another the the other one with the uh, <coughs> with the thumb. So I'm still at this cemetery, and this is interesting here. There's a monument of a, a German Zeppelin that crashed here in 1915 and nine, well, I get nine, as the nine original Templars, it uh, fell down. You see the pyramid here. So the nine original Templars, nine, always nine. Let's have a look. Is it nine, yeah? Yeah, here it, sa uh, here it says eight of the nine crew, uh, crew members, they died. And on top of it, you know, you got the Templars, the Templars cross, there it is. And there were nine original Templars. And we got the, uh, we got the pyramid on it. It's a really weird building, still on the cemetery here in Ghent. I don't know how to pronounce that, Ghent, Gant. Yeah, there's a Jew stone here. A military uh, cemetery with the little pebbles on it, like in Schindler's List. 
So this guy died as well, you know, together with the Christians there. So these Jews, they don't have the power. They die, they die with us. Come on, wakey, wakey. It's the pharaohs. They, they are there, and the Swiss. They don't die. It's a military, military cemetery here with a castle on it. Yeah. Bloody castle on it. What's that? A pentagram on it. You know, they die to, the Jews die together with the Christians. You know, they, they don't have all the power in the world. The pharaohs do and the Swiss. Uh, so I'm still in Ghent. I still don't know how to pronounce it. In Belgium. I hitchhiked here. The, like in the afternoon I was still in Strasbourg. And the next day I was uh, in the evening I was in, in Ghent. Visiting one of my YouTube fans here. It's full of... You know, obelisks up there and pharaonic symbols all over. We had the joining here. There's, you know, the, the, the grail up there, the ball for the earth domination. It's all here. Impressive town here. Oh, bloody pharaohs with your lions. You never had any lions in Europe. Bloody pharaohs you are. So this is the mayor's office. Look at all the gold here. Oh, the pharaonic temple, you know, with the uh, the obelisks all over, the symbol of the pharaonic domination, with the world domination on it, full of obelisks. So it's still in Ghent. I don't know how to say that. There's some obelisks on top of here. Well, it's always the same thing. Why should I mention it? Uh, and there's a real funny building there. Where is it there? Real funny building. They used to keep secret documents, I heard. Very dark building. So this is the oldest bar in Ghent with a Swiss cross on it here. Yeah. And uh, some moors here. There's a moor, four moors. There's another moor. Uh, it's from 1228. It's a pyramid with St. George on, the, on top of it. Killing the... Uh, killing his dragon over and over again. Again, the, uh, the mayor's office. So, they can just cross the road and get some beer. So I'm here in the East End, the Ostend, in, uh, at the beach in Belgium. Nice pharaonic mansion here. Look here, you know, oh, look at these pyramids all over, the, the obelisks are in gold. Still don't believe the pharaohs are ruling, eh? Yo, a gold obelisk, the symbol of the pharaonic domination. And, you know, lions, like the sphinx, and the symbol of the aristocracy. It's called the Haus Maritza. I wonder where that where they got that from, the Maritza. Oh, here, Maritza. Well, there's the word Ri in it, it's for the sun. It's for the rest. And then inside here, I think this is the, uh, the Phoenix. Yeah. It's most certainly a Freemason Lodge. I'm not sure if you can see it. here at the sea in Belgium. The other side is England. <laughs> I don't know what's in a hair. Probably most definitely sisters of Isis and they're in a union like in the Freemasons you know one for all all for one like in the Swiss Parliament holding each other it's like it's like the joining the joining of the Pharaohs against us and we're all singled out, you know, here in Belgium. There's also the lesbian idea behind it, you know, let's, let's, let's get the man down, you know, the organization. You stand alone, you know, and it's like 10 homos in a uniform coming, get you. Uh, here's the coat of arms of Monaco with the uh, red, the original red and white, the United Kingdom of Pharaoh. Uh, checkerboard 
Templars crosses under the monks. The monks are having swords, so they are Templars, there's no, there's no doubt. There's another Templars cross here. And it says Deo Juvante. Oh, God is alive, probably. Probably their God, the other ones. So I'm here in... Uh, I'm still here in... Uh, in the Ostend. Yeah, this is the coat of arms of Luxembourg. He's a Tsar, as I showed you before. A, a pharaoh. Here it says the Grand Douche. It means the big douchebag of Luxembourg. <laughs> Two times the Templar symbol on our logo. The sea. Oh, nice. It reminds me of the SA. South Africa. And this is the palace of the king here. That was that uh, the obelisk thing there. Looks like a dolphin here. Uh, here's a statue like next to the king's palace here, where his summer residence. Here are the black slaves there, there are the white slaves. Here's Isis. And there's the emperor. And here it says, uh, to, to his genius protector, the king. It's got a little square like in a computer, you can click on it, see some more on it. And here's a little square in, his, in, the, in the foot of the horse there, same square. What, what does that mean? You know? So the emperor, the pharaoh said, you know, says he's a genius protector. Well, who is he protecting? He's protecting the Per A, the big royal house. He's not protecting us. Get out of here. So, black slaves. White slaves, we're all the same. So, I snaked in here to the king's summer palace. That's where he's probably, you know, eating. So I'm not going to stand here too long. There's the sea. So, we're heading back here. So, well, that's it, folks. Oh, here in the king's Japanese garden, Next to that nice message, we see the squares again, which are missing from the foot of the horse. And in the text there, next to this, um, the brilliant king, as he puts it out himself, yeah? And here's the other side of the hotel. Oh, where is it? No, you can't see it. Japanese garden. Don't know what's going on here, really. The only thing, well, it's of course, it's the Trinity again. It's phallic, and the only thing I can think of this square is the base of a pyramid. Four elements. Uh, I'll just read this carefully. Yeah. Especially at the end, you know, they talk about the Pharaoh, and it says, you, We will not even remember how we once held the world in our hands and how we crushed it like a bird in our hands. Why do you want to crush a bird in your hands, man? The bird stands for liberty and they crush us and we don't even remember who's ruling or we don't even know. Well, there's the king on his horse, you know, how he robbed Africa in the Congo. The, the palace is just behind and this is called the Royal Astrid, like a hotel. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there. I think that's the queen, the Astrid. Uh, well, I can't see it. Yeah, Astrid, Royal Astrid. So this is a hotel and this is what it says in this royal... There's the summer residence where the trees are of the king of Belgium. And this is what they say, the pharaohs. So this is really... This hurts. Exactly what they say, you know. <laughs> Nobody, they even put it in English. It's so horrible. It's, it's a monarchy. And the strange thing is, the Belgium stays the Belgians. They speak uh, like uh, Dutch as far as I can understand it. Is, you know, the same way, the same soft way as the Luxembourgish people speak German. It must be the same people therefore, the same lineage. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Me. Sandals.